Hello, welcome to my tutorial video for the Zifu Replay Editor. I'm using an Xbox gamepad, so keep that in mind. Everything I explain is in regards to that. So the first thing I usually do is I press the start button, so I can load my preset. I will choose this one, it's a bit more colorful. Press the start button again and now we can start to edit the video. Pressing the X button gets you to the timeline mode. Here you can edit your scene. Pressing the A button will play the scene and pressing the X button will place, uh, place keyframes. Usually I start by uh, placing a keyframe before the scene I want to edit and right after it. So I start with the A button, place the keyframe and once the goon is taken out I will place another keyframe. Now you can use the D-pad to move on the timeline but this is not very handy. If you press the start button once this little dot will appear and now it means you can swap between those different keyframes with one click. Much better. The first thing I want to explain is how to use slow motion. So you choose a keyframe, you press the X button, you press RB to go to time deletation, you uh, enable it and you can uh, choose the deletation speed you want. 0.25 is good for slow motion. Press the B button to close the menu. When you now press A, everything will run in slow motion. That's it. The next thing I want to show is how to transition between camera angles. So you need two different camera angles obviously or else you can't transition between it. So I choose my second keyframe, press the epsilon button and now I will change my camera to behind those guys. Press the X button, that's important, so it will update it. And now I got two different camera angles. Pressing the B button gets you to timeline mode again. And if you now swap between those two keyframes you see there's a different camera angle. Now I press the X button on my first keyframe and I choose as a movement type linear. Closing it with B and if you now press the A button the camera will transition in a linear movement between camera 1 and camera 2. So here's a little tip. If you want to make the camera closely following your char and you want to have some dynamic movement in it, it is important to set it up correctly. So what I do is I press the X button and I tell the camera to follow my char. And if you tell the camera also to look at your char, you will see that it's often a bit choppy. Oh wait, let's uh, use the deletation speed. Let's speed it up a bit. So you can see it's some kind of choppy movement in the camera. This is very annoying. What you can do is, you will not look at your char, but you will look at the guy you are fighting. So you follow your char or you, and you are looking at the enemy. Or you do it vice versa, you are following the enemy and looking at your char. So you got a lot of movement in the camera, but it's not so choppy. I don't know if you see the difference now. Here it's very choppy. And if you just look at the enemy, you get kind of the same movement, but it's not choppy anymore. As the camera is not trying to, to fixate on the point, it's also following. I don't know if you know what I mean, <laughs> but you can, you can see it. Um, and that's actually all I'm using to make my uh, videos. It's just a mixture of all of that. Uh, a lot of trial and error, very time consuming, but fun nonetheless. I hope I could explain something new to you and that you understand the editor a bit better now. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me. And if you enjoyed the video, you can give me a thumb up and make some awesome videos. See ya. Goodbye.